All the network devices in this packet tracer physical mode have been pre-configured to include intentional errors that are keeping in the intervillain routing from working. Your task is to evaluate the network, identify and correct the configuration errors to restore the full intervillain connectivity. Okay, and review the addressing table, this addressing table. the VLAN table okay, R1 with three sub-interfaces sub-interface 3, 4, 13 uh, IP addresses uh, 10.3, 10.4, 10.13 switch 1 and switch 2 on VLAN number 3 IP addresses 10.3, 10.3, PCA on network 10.4, PCB on network 10.13, VLAN table, 5 VLANs, 3 management, 4 switches, uh, 4 operations, for fast internet 6 on S1, 7 parking lot for all unused ports. These are unused ports. Look at the topology. 6 in use, 5 in use, 1 in use on S1, on S2, 1 in use, 18 in use. So these are ports, unused ports. 7 the native and 13 maintenance for fast Ethernet 18 on S2. The login password on all network devices is Cisco and the enabled password is class. Okay, and now uh, on this rack is uh, R1, the router and switch S1, and on the another rack, switch S2. Okay, and this connection is from Fast Ethernet 1 on S2 to Fast Ethernet 1 on S1. Is the trunk link, this trunk link between S1 and S2. Okay, this is the trunk link, Fast Ethernet 1, from S1 Fast Ethernet 1 to S2 Fast Ethernet 1. This is the connection from router to switch. This connection goes to PC. This another connection goes to PC. So access first the router from the PC to make a console connection. This console cable. And connect from RS232 port on PC to console port on the router. Okay. Click on PC, desktop terminal. Okay. Enter. The password is Cisco and enable password class. Show running config. Okay, and compare with addressing table, this part. Okay, there is a sub interface dot A with encapsulation dot one Q8 and no IP address is not necessary because it's not in the Addressing table, no sub interface 8 on addressing table, but and there is a VLAN 8 on the VLAN table, and this VLAN is the native. If this VLAN is the native, the trunk link between S1 and S2 will use native V1. 
belong eight. And also the trunk between router and S1 also should use the native belong eight. So this sub interface will be used for the native VLAN. You need to specify native keyword here. So configure terminal interface configure terminal interface you go with zero zero one dot eight and cap solution dot one q eight native enter exit okay and now change this console connection to s1 i will review s1 mm, where is the console of s1 is on rear okay rear drag the cable from router to switch and now you have this connection from pc to the switch the console connection click on the pc uh, close terminal open again and now you are on the switch enter cisco enable class show running config space 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 and i will review the configuration of fast Ethernet 5 the connection to the router okay there is a message Native VLAN mismatch. Access VLAN number three. Mode access. This port should be trunk. The connection between R1 and S1 should be trunk. Okay, uh, remove these uh, entries. Confess Ethernet file. Configure terminal interface for certain file. No keyword and no switch port. Uh, access VLAN three. Okay, remove remove this uh, this command. Switch port access VLAN three. With add no at beginning. Enter. And and this should be trunk. Switch port mode trunk. Change to trunk. Switch port mode trunk. And enter. And remember, the trunk should be on native VLAN eight. Native VLAN eight. Enter. Okay, and uh, interface has Ethernet 5, no switch port access VLAN 3, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk at VLAN 8. Look at this message, uh, native VLAN mismatch, native VLAN mismatch is discovered on fast Ethernet 1. Okay, on, on fast Ethernet 1 on this switch, switch 1. There is a mismatch configuration for there is a native lang mismatch. And remember, I am still on interface configuration mode. Interface configuration mode, and I am still in the fast Ethernet 5 configuration. And permit uh, a good practice is to permit these VLANs. Okay, so switch port trunk allow it VLAN number three for management, number four operations and four for operations and uh, please uh, do not include seven because. Uh, no VLAN 7 traffic is allowed 
on trunks because there are no devices on VLAN 7 because this is for unused ports for security and uh, do not include number 7 go to 8 for natip and finally 13 for maintenance 348 13 enter okay exit from the interface configuration mode now you are on global configuration mode okay and review the another trunk facet another one on s1 and show running config facet another one switch port mode trunk switch port trunk allow it for 8.13 okay but it's not using VLAN native VLAN 8 it's not using native VLAN 8 so add the native VLAN here space 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 configure terminal interface for terminal 1 switch port trunk native VLAN 8 enter okay and the allowed belongs are 4813 you can add the number three numbers add the number three Switch port trunk, allow it, VLAN 348 Enter. Exit. Okay, review. Review facet 6, the connection to PCA. Facet 6. Access VLAN 4. Okay, um, facet data six four on VLAN four, very good. Mode access, very good. Should be access for PC. And it's good. And uh, finally, review the VLAN table. And finally, review the VLANs on the switch. Use uh, show VLAN brief command and show VLAN brief. Enter. Okay, uh, one is the default. Uh, don't worry. And uh, three management. Very good. And uh, four operations. Mm, very good. Facet not six. Okay. Mm, operations facet not six. Very good. Parking lot is seven. Very good. And uh, the when you set ports. Okay, when you set ports, mm, okay, and eight is the natip, eight natip, and thirteen maintenance, no VLAN thirteen, configure VLAN thirteen, configure terminal VLAN thirteen name. Be careful, maintenance. Enter. Okay, exit. And uh, this belongs to um, Fast Ethernet 18 on S2. Okay, now I am on S1, so I, you need to configure this on S2. But this uh, VLAN should exist on all switches, on S1 and S2. So that's why I'm configuring mm, on S1. Okay, finally review the IP address uh, with the addressing table. This is the IP address, okay, uh, on VLAN 3. Okay, VLAN 3, very good. The IP address, very nice. The the fall gateway is this. The fall gateway, very good.
Also on show running config, you can see how the unused ports are uh, configured on VLAN 7, mode access, and shutdown. It's very good. Um, now, uh, go to the another rack and connect this PC to the console switch to review S2 configuration. We we'll use this cable from RS232 on PC. Right click, inspect rear, and connect to the console. Now you have the console connection from this PC to the switch. Click on PC, desktop, uh, sorry, terminal. Okay. Enter. Cisco enable class show running config space 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 okay and review the trunk facet around one the connection to as one okay uh, switch port trunk native lang eight very good switch port trunk allow it belong four eight Okay, mm. switch port mode trunk, very good. But you need to add more VLANs here. Three should be three, four, eight, and thirteen. Uh, should be three, four, eight, and thirteen. Mm. Configure terminal interface, facet level one, switch port. Trunk below it, VLAN 3, 4, 8, and 13. Remember, do not include 7 because it's for security for unused ports. Enter, exit. Now, the completion is 100%, but anyway, review, for example, IP configuration according to the addressing table is very good. Okay, it's very good. And the VLAN table should be compared with the VLAN configuration and show VLAN brief. Okay, uh, management operation parking lot native in maintenance. And 18 belongs to maintenance. 13, very good. 18 belongs to maintenance. Okay, but uh, don't forget to be sure, don't forget to make use the ping command to test the following criteria from R1. Okay. Uh, And go to the the console connection is connected to the switch so change the console to the router inspect the rear and drag the this connection to the router console okay now very good go to pc click close terminal open again terminal enter cisco Enable class and ping to switch one VLAN three. This IP address ten three zero eleven. Success. You can repeat. Um, switch two. This another PC twelve. Okay, try again. Okay, the ping is failing. 
and review S2. Remember, this uh, PCB is connected to the console of S2. Click on PCB. Now you are on switch S2. Show, um, show running config. Okay, and IP configuration, the file gateway. Okay, and review the state, show IP interface brief. Okay, uh, the state is up, but protocol is down. Okay, the protocol is down. So that's why the ping fails. Okay, I will try the following configure terminal interface VLAN 3 shut down and no shut down and and verify show IP interface brief. Now VLAN 3 is uh, up protocol up. Very good, very good. And go to the router. Where is the router? Router is connected to this PC PCA. Ping to 10.3.0.12, that is uh, VLAN 3 on S2. Success, you can repeat. Success. PCA 10.4.0.50. 10.4.0.50. Success, PCB. 15.050. Very good. And from S1, ping. Okay, go to S1. Change the console from R1 to S1. Inspect rear. Drag the cable. Very good. Now it's connected. Go to PC. Close terminal. Open again. Okay. And and um, and ping to ten three zero twelve. Is there another switch? Ping to the another switch. Success. Ten four zero fifty to the PCA. Success PCB. Ten thirteen zero fifty. Success. And now go to S two. For this final test, remember uh, it's connected, PCB is connected to the switch S2 and ping to 10.4.0.50. Success and 10.13.0.50. Success. Very good. Thank you very much.